Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome once again to the Sunday service. And in case you're wondering where I am right now, I am way halfway across the globe. That's right. While I am here, straight here from Houston, Texas, I'm also serving the Lord in this manner in a remote way. So wherever you are right now, if in case I like me, you're way over here or you're way in your homes right now in the Philippines or wherever else, homes or in your uh, classrooms or in your bedrooms or in your kitchen, wherever you are right now, welcome back. Welcome home, and we're glad to have you with us. So, how do we get started with this thing? Now, if you look at God's goodness at this very moment, at every time of the day, whether it's storms or it rains or pours, or it may be just like this, a wonderful sunny day, like it's a summertime, wherever, which part of your season you are in right now, take this moment to dedicate your time to the Lord. So, let's have this moment of prayer. Let's have this moment of quiet. Let's have a reflection. We'll give you about a minute or so. Take a time to pause and think about how God has been to your life. Let's start that right now. All right, looks like we just had our time to reflect and our time to also have that one-on-one -on -one moment. Now, let's come together as a community, as a family, as we would worship together in spirit and truth. So, let's pray together and get started. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this moment that wherever we are, whatever we are at right now in our lives, whichever season we are in, you are there leading us from glory to glory. Use us as you will in these moments wherever we are at this point, as you would beckon us home into your glory, into your presence, into your house. Here we dwell in your house, Lord, with our hearts open. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. It's time for us to get started. So I would need you to stand up or if in case you're having a hard time with that, that's okay. Sit down wherever you are right now. Feel comfy, but at the same time, make yourself ready to praise. All right. So we'll hand you over to the worship team. We'll hand you over to the Sunday service today. Let's get ourselves started, all right? I'll hand you over right now. Keep us apart 
Be 
The songs that we have sang clearly reflects God's faithfulness when it says His grace is enough for us. Amen. That in the very revelation of Christ is hope and not only hope but peace that goes along with it. That in Jesus we have victory. So as we continue on with our celebration today, why don't we come before the Lord in a personal manner before we continue on just to bow our heads in prayer and to thank God for His faithfulness. Father God, we thank You for Your faithfulness. We thank You that You are God who is worthy of all praise and worthy of all thanksgiving. I pray that You would allow Your Holy Spirit to just work in a manner that is, Lord, truly reflective, Lord, of Your glory and honor and 
just inhabit the praises of your people, Lord God. And we just thank you because you are God, awesome and worthy to be praised. So Lord, before we continue on, allow us to enjoy the fellowship of your community and most of all, the fellowship of your spirit amid us. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. So before we sit down, why don't we go around a little bit and just bless one another with a, a smile or a shake of a hand or, you know, or a high five and say, I am blessed that you are here today. Amen. Amen. Tayo pong lahat ay pinagpala. Pinagpala ng Panginoon. Amen. God is good. Amen. Come on. Everybody just say to one another, God's grace is enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's enjoy God's presence as we continue to listen to His Word. Amen. I know we just prayed, but would you please join me in just offering this time unto the Lord. You may be seated. And just uh, agree in prayer as we commit this time unto the Lord, especially His Word. Father, I would just like to commit back to you your word. And I pray that all that will be heard is you through the mouthpiece, Lord, your servant. Your Lord, uh, allow me to be your mouthpiece today. I'm just a, a vessel, an avenue of what you have for your church. Let uh, us all be ministered onto by your word. And Lord God, hide your servant behind your cross that all that is glorified and seen is you and you alone. So Lord, let your word come to life and we bless you and we magnify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We are today living in a world where changes are almost often and uh, frequent. Okay, ibig sabihin, you know, uh, we could not really exactly predict what tomorrow may bring, right? But do you remember a couple of sermons back when I talked about seasons? When I said that, you know, you see, you have to understand one thing that today people are going through a natural dilemma. And that is, you know, they live in this particular thought pattern or this thing in mind. You know, they have the worries of the past and the fear of the future that robs them of today. The, the worries of the past and the fear of the future that love, robs them of today. Ibig sabihin, you know, uh, Megan, you know, one of the pastors in Willow Creek talked about this, you know, sometime when we were in Chicago, when she said that, uh, uh, he, he plays it in a, in a different way, when she said, uh, you know, at some point in time, we have the ability to rehash the past, right, and rehearse the future instead of living today. Amen po ba? Ibig sabihin, kagaya nung kanta, yung awitin na inawit natin kanina, you know, your grace is enough. Even the Bible went on to say, let the... Let tomorrow worry about itself. For enough is today, okay, the strength of today, for the worries of today. Now, it's not that we do not look ahead on what is uh, in the future, but it is important, okay, that we live the moment. Everybody say that together. Live the moment. So I'm going to talk about the resilient believer, okay? And when we talk about the resilient believer, I am primarily focusing on somebody who has the clear understanding and focus of his or her calling. Okay? Na hindi lamang po tayo random, na kumbaga napunta tayo sa church, you know, the, the message touched our heart, we got born again. It's not it. You know, everything happens, you know, in God's grand design. Or you think, you know, everything happens in accordance to God's grand design. No one, including you, I, or any particular season or whatnot, happens without the very knowledge of God. So, tatanungin natin kung ganun pala, Pastor, eh bakit may paghihirap pa sa mundo? Bakit meron pang mga ganitong bagay? Well, that's the, that's the, the aftermath or the, the consequence of men, okay, allowing the enemy, Satan, to usurp the power and authority that God has given men. Right? And that is why Jesus came, so that, you know, by dying in the cross, when he proclaimed tetelestai, meaning in Greek, you know, that is translated, that it is finished. Ibig sabihin, everything has been reclaimed back. Okay, well, think po, everything that has been lost was reclaimed. Amen? Parang hindi kayo excited, si Tita Aida lang yata, you know? Everything that has been lost was reclaimed. In fact, when Jesus, okay, was talking to his disciples, he said, I came to seek and save, hindi lang yung, you know, that which was lost. I came to save, no, 
to seek and find that which was lost. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang to save men or to look for those that are lost. It's not that. He's actually here or he came, you know, to regain the authority, okay, the dominion that the enemy has usurped. So in short, because of what Jesus has done, we have the ability, we have the power through the Holy Spirit to be resilient. Okay, ano yung resilient? No? The resilience, okay, that we have is actually and ought to be founded on the Holy Spirit. Okay? Because it is the Holy Spirit that makes us overcome. So, as, as we go on further with this, I'm going to discuss a couple of things. And since today, you know, many of you probably doesn't know, if you have not been looking at your Facebook, particularly checking out Gateway's page, this is going to be our last Sunday here. Uh, not, not as worshiping community, okay? Yeah, Gateway is not closing at all. Or just saying, in this place, Okay, we have already extended our thanksgiving or our gratitude to the management of uh, Mountain Lodge through uh, Pastor Janine and Pastor Rick who, who, who allowed us to stay here. Can you imagine we stayed here for 52 weeks? Exactly one year. Yeah. Ganun kabilis, no? Ganun kabilis. And parang every year, may ginagawang bago ang Diyos, no? Yeah. Amen ba? And we're moving to our new place uh, closer to town. You know, Upper Session Road. Okay, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll give you further announcements later, okay? So I remember um, Moses, after delivering, you know, the, the, the Israelites from the very bandage in Egypt, went on to transition to, to a new whole uh, era or season. But, you know, the, 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 the ending of the Pentateuch, okay, the, the books of Moses actually ended with Moses being shown the promised land. However, the Lord said, Moses, your, your job is done. Parang ganun, no? And you can look at the promised land, but you will never set foot on it. No? It's not because God hated Moses. Don't get me wrong. Hindi dahil madaming mga theological approaches, sabi niya, because may mga kalukohang, may mga pagkakamaling ginawa si Moses. Well, I, I'd like to believe that God does not highlight our wrongs. Right? It's just, I believe that it's, it's now time to transition. Moses was old. He's not agile anymore. Diba? And probably God wants to give him rest. In fact, Moses was so special that it was God who buried him. Nobody knew where Moses was buried. God just took him. Right? You know? That, that is still a theological argument. But anyway, uh, going back, we know the details. You know, uh, Joshua now transitions to be the leader, right? Okay, there is now this succession plan, right? Ang maganda dito, okay, it was Joshua who was actually closely, okay, raised by Moses. So in the process, anong sabi doon? Anong sabi ni Lord kay, jo- kay Joshua? Joshua, okay, m- my servant Moses is dead. Can you imagine a book stand, uh, starting with the death of a servant? Parang ang, ang lungkot naman yung start ng book na yun. No? May, namatay yung, yung bida. Parang ganun, di ba? Ngayon yung successor ng bida. But that's how, how the, the, okay, the narrative went along. It began with, you know, Joshua, rise up, my Moses, I mean, my servant Moses is dead. And then and the next thing that the Lord said to Joshua is, uh, prepare the people. Because, you know, in a couple of days, you will cross over. Diba? You know, parang looking at that particular point, ibig sabihin, life is a constant re- you know, kumbaga, a season or series of crossing over. Yeah. This church has crossed over many, many times. Yes. And, and now, seemingly, Tita Aida, we are going to, I mean, we are going through full circle, no? Ganyan tayo sa GSP, manis tayo, bumalik lang tayo. Para tayong Israelites nag- 40 years wandering eh, no? Buti na lang, Kuya Daniel, hindi 40 years, no? Just a couple of years, right? Uh, how many years altogether, Tita, from GSB? That was 2008, right? Uh, to, you know, we started transitioning in around 2009, 10, something like that. We transitioned, di ba? We went, and, and we went full circle. Can you imagine? Look at it geographically. We went full circle, right? We went to the west. We went to the mid. Uh, north, right? Then we went to the east. And now we're going back again. 
So, pag sabihin mo sa katabi mo, uh, kahit tagal mo mang nawala, babalik ka rin. Di ba? Parang, parang ganun. Di ba? So, parang that's the story, right? The, sto- the story. For those of you that are watching, that's the story. If you do not know yet, the story of Gateway. Right? Tama? And by the way, for your all of you who do not know, Gateway was born in GSP. Anyway, so we're just going home. We're just going home. However, so what? What's new, Pastor? What's new? We're better. We're wiser. We're more prepared. So I'd like to begin with this particular thought in mind: the coming of a new thing. Amen. There is a new thing that's coming. Yeah, let me just fix my headset for a while. There's a coming of a new thing. Okay? And ito yung sinabi ng Panginoon. Hey, you know, every time a new thing is coming, forget, okay, the past. It's not because it's not important. It's important to learn from the past. We cannot change it anymore. But we can learn from it. And the Lord is saying, hey, now take note, I'm going to begin with forget the past. I'm going to end with forget the past. Right? I'm going to begin with the Old Testament and I'm going to end in the New Testament telling us, forget the past. Right? So whatever you have gone through, okay, in the past, the Lord is saying, forget it. I'm doing a new thing. Okay? Sabi niya, remember not the former things, nor consider the things, sabi niya, of all. Behold, I am doing I can't hear you. I'm doing a new thing. Okay, doon sa mga baguhan sa atin, maybe it's your first time to join the church or maybe you're, you're a guest of somebody. Regardless, the Lord is saying to you, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. And sabi niya, now it springs forth. Remember the season of spring? Leaders, remember when we were talking last Friday? That spring has come. Di ba? Right? And I, I believe even Jon Snow of the Game of Thrones will be happy because winter is over. <laughs> diba? That particular TV series began or ended up with winter is coming. Thank God, spring has come. Winter is over, right? Now it's spring sports. Sabi niya, do you not perceive it? Everybody say, perceive it. Sabi niya, parating na. Hindi niyo pa nararamdaman. I was sitting the other day at SM, you know, uh, having coffee, and then I was hearing this Christmas carols already being played, right? <laughs> what does that tell you? And we have started counting down, you know, the 100 d- days. Actually, I think today it's what, 94? Yeah, something like that, right? Diba? And Christmas is coming. And, you know, every time Christmas comes, it's, you know, what it reminds me, it's not the thing that it's a time of giving and receiving. Rather, what comes to mind is Jesus came. Jesus came. And guess what? Jesus is coming again. Parang hindi kayo excited. Mas excited pa kayo, nalilipat tayo sa... <laughs> but look at this. I'm doing a new thing. Sabi niya, do you not perceive it? That's a question. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In short, there's a phrase that's telling you, I will make the impossible possible. Right? Amen ba? So as we transition further... You know, let me take you back again to a period, you know, sometime between the 16th and 18th century. Or they, they believe that this is the time of the Renaissance. It's according to history, the time of the Renaissance. And what is the Renaissance? The Renaissance actually is a period of revival. Ibig sabihin ng word na Renaissance is to be reborn. Right? Right? To be reborn. And kung titignan po natin nito, Ang ibig pong sabihin nito, you know, this, there was a revival in arts, you know, literature. You know, after a period of long decay, parang nothing, no improvement is happening. And then, boom, you know, the renaissance happened. The guys like Da Vinci, Michelangelo, you know, came to the scene and it revolutionized everything. You know, hindi lang culture, hindi lang arts, literature, everything else about the society suddenly just, boom, came to life. Architecture. Right? Came. Right? Diba? What we see today are like significant historical sites in Italy, in Florence, you know, uh, are actually the product of the Renaissance, right? 
Di ba? Great sculptor work like like you know the the Pieta and the David by Michel Angelo and then the Sistine Chapel fresco. These are all you know kumbaga, the product of the Renaissance. Today these are celebrated arts, right? Now, I'm talking about in arts and literature and other aspects of civilization. Pero kung titignan po natin, the very idea of Renaissance captures what we need today. Kumbaga embodies what we really need. We are transitioning to a new season. That's why I'm asking, I'm challenging the young people. It's time to rise up. I'm not, I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the adults you know, you're done. No, I'm saying it's a time of transition. Just like young Joshua is being commanded by the Lord uh, to, hey, consider this, my servant Moses is dead. Now, I'm, I don't like to highlight or capitalize on people dying. No, no. Dying is something that we don't like. Even some in Steve Jobs, even those that uh, knows they're going to go to heaven, you know, doesn't want to go to death to get there. Right? Tama ba? Kung pwede lang, bukas rapture na. Pero ang tanong, handa na ba tayo? Eh, kahit ako sabi ko, Lord, huwag muna, maraming pang gagawin. Amen? There are so many unfinished business. Remember me a couple of you know uh, years back when we were still in AYK when I said, so many things done, so much more to do? It hasn't changed. Di ba? How, how many will say, our ministry, nagawa na natin, dapat natin gawin sa ministry? Hindi pa. Marami pang gagawin. We have yet to see the next pastor of Gateway. I don't want to you know, expire and go home to the Lord without seeing the next pastor. And it could be anybody among you. It could be Nathan or CJ or I don't know or, or Alonso. You know, parang ganun, no? Diba? And hindi natin alam. God, at the moment, I, I, this is one thing that I'm sure of. Even if I do not know it yet, God is already preparing the next pastor. Right? And the next elders and leaders are about to come. Right? So, ibig sabihin nito, marami takot sa transition. Eh. Right? Hindi ah. Hindi ako, hindi ako magre-resign. Hindi ako, hindi, hindi mag hindi ako magre-retire. No, no, no. Everybody retires. At some point. Diba? It's just a matter of how are you preparing for it? So, when this great transition happens, ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand, it's all on the hands of God. Diba? And there is a constant cycle. Hindi lang po minsan mangyayari ang revival. Revival happens every time. It's, it's a series of revival, actually. Before we even get to heaven, there's going to be a series of revival. Even in our personal lives, there will be a season of decay, there will be a season of plateau, and there will be a season of growth, you know, and then winter comes again, and then we go through, you know, harder difficulties. This is one thing, however, doesn't matter. It's going to be harder. I'm sorry to tell you. Life is going to be harder. But understand this. Every time life gets harder, His grace is enough. Bakit? Bakit? Because His grace is made perfect in our weakness. Amen? Yeah, nakikita natin, nangihina tayo, pinangihinaan tayo. Pero yun din po yung pinakamagandang pagkakataon para maranasan at matikman natin ang kaligtasan ng Diyos. Amen, Amen ba? So, when this particular renaissance happened, now look, let's go back to our, to our uh, book of Isaiah. Una-una sa yun is, hey, I am doing a new thing. And ano yung new thing, Tita Aida? No. How should we respond, Tita Norma, to this new thing? Mimo, I was telling you, the other time you were in the mentoring class, how do you respond to the new thing? If you are satisfied with what you are right now as a Christian, pasimba-simba ka lang tuwing linggo, pa-prayer prayer meeting ka lang, pa-cell group or you know, Bible-Bible study ka, you, know, you think if that is your perception of Christian life, then you're missing a lot. Because Christian life is about a constant series of expansion. Right? Tama? You evolve as a leader. Now, hindi dahil tutubuan ka ng pakpak, magkakaroon ka ng halo, or uh, on some other point, tutubuan ka ng buntot. Hindi yun, no? Hindi ka nag evolve hindi ka nag-change physically, but you are maturing. Ang sabi ni Paul doon is, you are being transformed from glory to glory, from everlasting to everlasting. So, 
let me just tell you this. I'm going to encourage you, but at the same time, I'm not trying, you know, to kind of make you find an excuse. Yes, you will find opportunities, Diane, of weakness. You will go there. Okay, there will be, just like Paul McCartney back, back in the day, you know, lonely nights. Right? Tama? Pero ito yung promise ng Lord. Sabi niya, a new thing is coming and you should respond or respond in a way na sabi niya, enlarge the place of your tent. Come on! Enlarge the place of your tent. Sabi niya, you know, you know, uh, sabi niya, uh, and hindi lang sabi niya, expand it, expand it wide. Ano sabi dito, Tita Aida? Do not hold back. Di ba? Huwag yung tipirin. Huwag yung papitik-pitik lang. Ha? Itodo nyo na. Do not spare. Sabi dito eh. Do not hold back. Okay? Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. Why? Because sabi ni Lord, you will spread out to the right and to the left. Sabi niya, your descendants will okay, dispossess nation and settle in their land. Ibig sabihin, you will possess them. Right? And I was telling the leaders, you see, sabi ko, one of my perception, my vision that God is impressing in my heart, yeah, it, it's not about numbers. I'm not really praying. We've been there. Right? We were like, Gathering like 700 plus and more. Kung idadagdag natin pati mga selders, almost close to a thousand or over a thousand back in the day, right? But look at how many we are today. Not even close to, you know, a couple of hundreds or not even hundreds, a hundred. But it doesn't matter. Diba? Right? Because you could have a thousand conscript and here you have, you know, only a handful of generals. I want us to raise generals. I want us to raise leaders and influencers and pioneers, visionaries, entrepreneurs. Parang bigla kayang tumahimik, parang imposible. No? Diba? Kung hindi man ako yon, I guarantee you, I will raise someone. I will raise someone. Our church, by God's grace, through the Holy Spirit, can. So some of you may just be the next mayor or senator or congressman. I don't know. But God is going to raise you up. So don't settle. Don't settle. Hindi yung, oh, ganto, ganto lang ako. Malay nyo, the, the, the next city architect is going to school today. Maybe that's the end. Or we don't know, right? We don't know. Time to prophesy. Right? Di ba? Amba? Right? We're praying. We're praying. We're praying. We're not yet there, but we're praying. So, I mean, Lord, uh, I pray we can send Nathan and Aliyah, you know, and our kids to UP. Right? You will give them wisdom. Right? Kasi masakit na sa bulsa eh. Right? So if you can give us the resources, then might as well give, make them scholars. Amen ba? Tama ba? Nakakatuwa, no? Yun ang mga goal nila. Right? Uh -huh. Why? Because you are called to expand. Amen? Amen? Yung mga estudyante, huwag lang kayong mag-goal na mag-graduate. Huwag lang kayong mag-goal na pumasa sa board. Dapat nandun kayo sa mga top 10. Ganun, di ba? Di ba? Parang pahina ng pahina yung amen. No? Parang, alam niyo, parang feeling ko yung amen na gagaling sa ilalim ng lupa. Ano ma'am, no? Parang, amen. Mga ganun, no? Yan, parang, parang matagal lang namatay yung pangarap na kalibing na amen. Ano ganun, no? Guess what? God can even raise the dead. Amen. Right? And if ever your dreams have died, in Jesus' name, it will rise again. Alright? So sabi dito, no, do not be... Come on, sabihin mo sa atabi mo yan. Do not be afraid. Okay? Why? Do not be afraid. Do not fear. You will not be humiliated. Hindi kayo mapapahiya. Hallelujah. I love this. No? You will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood. Bakit? Because at the end of the day, you will see God working. So, let's go back to Joshua. Okay? So, we fast forward. We went to Isaiah. 
prophetic utterance. Now, ito na ngayon. In the time of transition, this was the very command of God to Joshua. Okay? What is required? Sabi ni Lord kay Joshua, be strong and courageous. Okay? Okay, sabi mo sa katabi mo, be strong and courageous. And I'm talking to you right now, if you're watching on, online, be strong and be courageous. Why? For your, ano yan? Sabi that, for you shall cause the people to inherit the land that I swore, okay, sabi niya dito, to what? Their fathers to give them. Ibig sabihin, para may pangako si Lord. May pangako kay si Lord. Amen? E pastor, si Joshua naman yun, yung mga slides naman yun, ha, paano kami kabilang dyan? I mean, look, look at the Bible. Sabi doon, we're not, you know, native of Israel, we're not natural born Israelites or part of this particular fold or tribe, but because of what Jesus has done, we became heirs. Hindi lang kay Abraham eh, co-heirs with Christ. Come on, church. Do you do you really know who you are? Yes. Diba? Parang isang exam na ganun, no? Tapos, na-late siya. Winarningan na siya ng teacher. Sabi niya, sabi yung teacher sa kanya, I'm marking you. Sabi niya, tapos lumapit siya sa teacher. Sabi niya, pinakita niya yung test paper niya. Sir, do you know me? Sabi niya, no. Very good. Isinaksak niya yung papel, no? Eh, hindi mo naman ako kilala, di, hindi mo alam kung saan yung papil ko, di ba? Anong gano'n, no? I mean, in a, you know, kind of awkward way. But, but I mean, the Lord knows you. Yes. He even knows you to the extent that He has given time to count the number of your hairs. Right? So do not ever think that what you're going through in life, the Lord doesn't know. Kaya sinasabi niya ito, be courageous. Again, inulit niya, sabi niya, only be what? Not only courageous, be very strong. Diba? And, and my perception here is not just strong, strong physically, but it makes it be resilient. Diba? You see, even the strong can be discouraged. No? You see, sometimes it's not the size of the fight, or it's not the size of the dog, rather in the fight, an American slang went on to go that way. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Walang, walang kwenta, even if you have like a pride of lions who have hearts of sheep. Diba? Uh, my, my grandson loves to play with me almost every day. And sometimes he would, we, would, we would role play. No? Tatalokbong kami to sa, sa gusto gusto niyang, he would climb up when he wakes up in the morning. He would climb up on my bed. Okay, we would cover our, our, ourselves with the sheets. Right? And then he's gonna put it. Meow. 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 The cat is hungry. Meow. Tapos mag-uusap kami. Meow. Right? Right? And sa thinking nga, pusa siya. Right? Right? He can just recreate his world. Parang na, no? No? I, I, I remember Michael Jr., one of our speakers in the, in the GLS. And he said, being a comedian is a challenge. But there are, actually, comedy is so simple. So sabi niya, first, there is the setup. Okay? And then the punchline. So, dalawa lang daw ang comedy, setup and punchline. The setup is when you try to prepare people, you know, to expect something, and then you come up with a punchline, something they don't expect. Sabi niya, it's so simple. Like the other day, sabi niya, I was talking to my child, or my child came up to me, sabi niya, he's very young, he's a toddler, and came up to me and said, Dad, I think I'm gonna be a doctor. Sabi niya, wow! Sa so, loob niya, wow! And then sabi ng anak niya, and then that's the setup. Sabi niya, and then the punchline came. Or a dinosaur. <laughs> Alright? Ganda na eh, no? <laughs> Sabi niya, ang setup, I want to be a doctor. And then followed by the punchline, or a dinosaur. So, sino sa inyo ganyan? Okay? Coming home after church and saying, I'm going to be victorious! And then you realize so many problems. Or a loser. <laughs> Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo, what are you expecting? I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Only be strong and be very courageous. Okay? And sabi niya, being careful to do according to the law that my, okay, that, that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Okay? So, dalawa una, be strong, be very courageous. 
Okay? That's basically, in modern day today, be resilient. Right? Tama? Right? Be resilient. And at the same time, sinasabi niya ito, okay, sabi niya, do not turn to the left or to the right. So what you would see here is the challenge for resilience and focus. Diba? Gusto ko yung ginaman ni JR kanina. Remember your vision. I like that. Thank you, JR. It's very inspiring. Diba? That's it. God is the giver of revelation. But when, when revelation comes, understand this. With great revelations comes great responsibilities. Kaya ipinakita sa'yo ng Panginoon dahil may tungkuling kang gagampanan. So, you know, I have here this simple formula for success. You see, faith. Ano yung faith? According to the book of Hebrews, faith is the substance of things. All for the evidence of things not seen. So parang sinasabi ito ni, ni Lord kay Joshua, Hey Joshua, look, I'm gonna give you the promised land. And then sabi lang ni Lord, go get it. Diba? Remember? I went to GSP. And then the Lord just simply say, this is going to be a good place for you. Remember that? A couple of months back. And then I went and I said to you, hey, so place. Remember that? Remember that journey? And then we, we made a couple of letters and intentions, right? That took a lot of process. And then long story short, next Sunday we will be there. Yes. All right? Why? Because we did, did not just sit down and say, Lord, look, the promise and then so, hirap, there are giants there. <laughs> right? Come on. Yeah. yeah, I remember one time, you know, we've been having a hard time following it up. And then uh, I, I was invited to be a speaker in, in one of the kumbaga, induction of officers with the, one of the Lions Club chapters, right? I was there. I spoke there. No? And then so happened that, you know, the chairman of GSP, which happens to be Ma'am Tony Lulutabanda was there, who's also our sitting, seated counselor, right? After, after I spoke, I was about to go home. She rushed and said, Pastor, Pastor, by the way, sabi niya, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, sabi ko, I know you. Yeah, actually, we've met a couple of times, probably don't remember. And sabi niya, that was a very inspiring talk. Sabi niya, could we invite you one time as our speaker? Sabi ko, of course, ma'am. So, can I have your card? So, pinakita ko yung card ko. Binigay ko yung card ko sa kanya. Sa likod ng card ko, may gateway. And sabi ko siya, by the way, Ma'am Lulu, we are the ones about to occupy GBSP. And she, look, she looked at me and said, Ah, okay. Pastor, it's okay. It's done. <laughs> right? Anong ganahan, di ba? And can you just imagine how the Lord sets up? Yes. And then gives you the punchline? Okay lang kayo. Pinapawisan na ako. Okay. Wala man lang ako makuhang response sa inyo. So sabi doon, hey, do not be afraid. Turn to your neighbor and say, do not be afraid. Be strong. Be courageous. Hindi ba? So you need resilience and focus of faith. Resolve. Right? Ano yung resolve? Yung bang, I have made it in my heart to affirm and say yes. The Lord, whatever it takes, Yes. Diba? Remember Joshua? You know, after many, many years saying, As for me in my house, period, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Right? Tama? So there's faith, resolve, and firmness. Okay, sermon done. Let's go home kasi maglilipat pa tayo ng gamit mamaya. Come on. There are three things I'd like you to see here. From Isaiah, a new thing is coming, enlarge your tent. To the book of Joshua, do not look to the left, to the right, be strong, be very courageous. There are three important things that we would pick up from those particular verses of Scripture. Number one, is there what you call the recovery of passion? Palagi na lang pinapaalala ni Lord sa tuwi ng pinanghihinaan tayo ng loob. Be courageous. Right? Ano yung pinakamagandang promise kay Joshua? Hindi be courageous. Kasi yun yung challenge eh. Be courageous, etc., etc. Pero hindi naman sinabi ni Lord na, okay, I'll prepare the land, you just transfer. Hindi eh. Go take the land. Di ba? So there is the promising, but there is also the taking. Di ba? Sometimes God will promise you and you say yes and amen. And sabi sinilor, go take it. 
Ha? Ba't ako? Tama? Right? Sometimes the Lord will allow us to pray and pray and pray and pray to hear from Him. But then eventually, you have to work. Right? We've been praying for the government, the local government in particular, for a long time. Right? And we have no influence in City Hall whatsoever. Until I started to really venture and find a way. We've written mayor two years in a row for GLS. Never responded. Then they stumbled with him and met his acquaintance, you know, randomly in one day. And then lo and behold, became friends. Right? Amen ba? The other day, he was so excited with the GLS Next Gen. He was calling me up on a Saturday and he said, Dr. Sol, I'm panicking already. He says, what time is our event again today? And I said, Mayor, you're too excited. It's going to be next month. And sabi niya, nag-grabe, nag-aalala ko. Kala ko ngayon. Sabi niya, tapos, and then, bigla siyang binan ka. Sabi niya, huwag mo nga kong tinatawag Mayor. Si ayaw niya. Don't call me Mayor. Call me Manu or whatever. Because we're friends. We, we built that relationship, right? He knows that even when he's not asking, I'm praying for him. Right? And I don't come to him solicit, I mean, giving my free advices. No, if you need me, I'll be there. Right? That's why he knows it. No, one time he was calling. Sabi niya, oh, Dr. Song, ngayon paling anniversary in the church. Sabi niya, pasensya ka na, I cannot come. Because I am, in, I, I am traveling. Sabi niya, sayang. Sabi niya, mamimiss ko ulit yung masarap na kainan. Yung mga ganun, no? Yung kahit yung mga simpleng bagay na aalala niyo yun, no? Yung when he came one day in our anniversary, and then sabi niya, ngayon lang ako nakakain ng marami, no? Kasi sabi niya, I just, I just love the environment. Amen. Right? No, what happens when we begin to recover the passion? Pwede ba tanong mo yung katabi mo? Tapos sabihin mo lang genuinely, honestly, sabi niya, sabi mo, may pangarap ka pa ba? Hindi, hindi lang yung pangarap na gusto kong makatapos. Kasi kung yun lang ang pangarap mo, ang chip ng pangarap mo. Dapat ang pangarap mo, Lord, I want more. Use me, Lord. I will be an impact in my generation. I will be a change agent. I will not sell. Look at, pwede ba lang ipaprint mo na ulit yung declaration of faith that says doon sa ating declaration of faith is I will not be hidden. I will stand out. I will not be silent. I will speak out. Right? And I will not stop until I see the promise of the Great Commission until I breathe my last. Right? And see a nation under Christ. Come on. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten reaching people and transforming lives? In fact, many of you are probably, ayaw nyo na yung ating key verse. Kasi sabi doon, people will come, you know, and find pasture and go out. <laughs> so people has been eating in the church and then they're going out. Kaya tingnan nyo, tinakpan na ng upuan. Kasi may nakalagay doon, tamang-tamang tama doon sa upuan. They will come and go out. <laughs> if you are here to keep people in church, you're thinking wrong. The church should not be here. The church should be out there reaching people, transforming lives. Where's the passion? Ano yung passion? Sabi niya, are resolved, inspired by the Spirit and empowered by heavenly anointing. Ano yun? Bring a powerful forward momentum. Hindi ka mapapakali, pare ko. Hindi ka mananatili sa kinalalagyan mo. Kung baga parang sinisilaban yung pwit mo. I have to do something. I have to create a new song. I have to look for a new lineup. Hindi pa tapos yung Sunday ngayon. Iniisip ko na ano kaya magandang song next Sunday. Hindi na ko si Tita Tess, pinapalo up na naman tayo. I never see my ministry work a burden. I see it as my offering to God. Kagagaling ko ng trip. A little did I know I'm, I'm coming back from the stage jet lag and then the next thing I know is, you know, I only have one day rest and I have to be a speaker in a conference and then I have to come back that weekend to preach, right? Remember that? 
And I was thinking to myself, anyway, you know, parang gano'n may temptation dito ahid eh. Na, anyway, hindi naman nila alam kung nag-prepare ka. Do you even visit me when I prepare? You don't. So sabi ko, that day, what, what will I do? I'm just gonna preach. I'm just gonna preach, put on a good face, and I would say that the Lord spoke to me. I want to speak to you, kaya wala tayong presentation ngayon, kasi I, I want to be intimate with the Lord, and I will just be intimate with you. Will you ever know? You won't. But that evening, the Spirit of God was just bothering me. And the Spirit of God is simply saying, you do not shortchange my people. So I went back to my laptop, started preparing what I usually do. Sabi nung iba, Pastor, alam mo yung Sunday mo parang motivational speaking palagi. Para kami nagko-conference. Eh di ba nga, dapat naman yung preaching motivational. Di ba? Kung hindi motivational, ba't ka pa nagpipreach? If people will go out of the church and they are de- 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 demotivated, dapat pag ang nag-exhort ka ng offering, pag lumabas yung tao, mag-uusap si Dodong sa kasi Daniel, naka-shorts na lang. Tapos sasabihin na, grabe ang tindi ng offering, no, nabigay na natin lahat. <laughs> di ba? Kasi pa, ultimo lahat binigay na, di ba? Hindi ka gaya ng kwento ng mga denomination ng pera, di ba? Anong buhay ng isang libo? Sabi ng isang libo, ito, pa, papunta-punta, pabaka-bakasyon, pa-airport-airport. Sabi niya sa isa, limandaan is, ikaw, kung sa buhay mo? Sabi niya, ganun din naman ang buhay ko, pero hindi masyadong marami. Pero nakakarating din ako ng five star hotel. Tinanong yung isa daan, sabi niya, wala, hanggang palengki lang ako. Nung tinanong yung 20 pesos, ikaw, kung sa buhay mo? Sabi niya, boring ang buhay ko. Church, 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 church. 20-20 lang. Ano tingin niyo sa, tingin niyo sa church? Tugs, tugs, tugs. 20-20 lang. Where's your passion? Young people, where's your passion? If you're coming to youth group thinking na ano kaya ang activity ngayon, sana mag-enjoy ako. You're selfish, you're naive, you're stupid. Pastor, why are you calling us stupid? You're, you're missing your time. You're missing your time. Ano sabi ni Solomon, the wisest king who ever lived? Honor the creator in the days of your youth. Habang bata ka, magpagamit ka sa Panginoon. Bakit? Para pagtanda mo, hindi ka lang ginamit ng Panginoon, anihin mo yung mga pagpapalang hinandahan ng Diyos para sa'yo. Come on! Yes, the Lord deserves a clap offering, right? Amen? Because, you know, you have a definite direction. Alam mo kung saan ka papunta. Alam mo na sa lupang ibabaw na ito, nagdadaan ka lang. Hindi ka nga forever na young eh. May kantang forever young, pero you know that that is not true. That is just a wishful thinking. Because the truth is, everybody dies. You know, truth is, when you begin to grow older, you begin to realize you're dying. Dalawa lang naman klase ng pagkamatay eh. You die healthy or you die sick. But you still die. And everybody dies. I'm dying. The bad news is, so are you. Right? I was talking about uh, this with Mimo. Sabi ko sa kanya. Anong pinakamasarap pare ko? Die empty. Yung wala kang iiwanan kasi lahat ginamit mo. Yung talino mo, yung lakas mo, yung pagpapala mo, wala ang iniwan para sa'yo. And you will up, come to the Lord naked. Did I come into this world? It's like what Job said. Naked will I return. Blessed is He. Na? Blessed is the name of God. I know my purpose. I know my direction because at the end of the day, begin to realize it's a forward moving direction, right? Tama? You know, everybody's moving except that not everybody is moving forward. Di ba? Ang uso ngayon puro retreat. Church retreat. Youth retreat. Puro retreat. Wala bang youth advance? Ha? Huh? Pag kayo mag, mag-propose kayo, pasa mag-youth retreat kayo, mag-pray kami, ay, tigil lang yun. Mag-advance na kayo. Tatandaan niyo na, yung retreat pa rin. Tama? Time to advance. Right? It will require great courage 
and firm resolve to obey the call. I mean, guys, alam nyo, there's a lot of prosperity gospel teaching ministry today that are saying, come to the Lord and your life is going to be good. Says who? In this world, your life is going to get worse before it gets better. Tama? Madaming aayusin si Lord sa buhay mo, pare. Pastor, di ka na spiritual. Tawa mo sa amin, pare. O di, tol. Di ba? Ang yung makit ganun? Di ba? Because I want this preaching to be as real as possible. Di ba? Nakaupo tayo sa Jeep, brother. Pakiabot. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know? I mean, hindi ko sinasabing masama yun. Pero alam mo, minsan sumasobra, alat mo, nakakasuka ka. Right? Miinom kayo ng kape. Wow, ang init na kape. Ay, nako, subukin mo yung init ng impyerno na million times more, mas mainit sa kape mo. Yun ang pasong hindi mo ma... Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ba? Ang daming Christian na ganun, pare. Wala, sister, baguhin mo na yung buhay mo, punta ka sa impyerno. Wala, hindi ka ba natatakot? Kumukulong mantika? Bakit panakot? Kailan naging panakot ang gospel? Dapat ang gospel pagbigay ng pag-asa. Hindi dahil gumagawa ka ng palusot. Diba? Pero sinasabi mo, mahal ka ng Diyos. Minsan, marami ang natatakot sa Diyos imbis na nagmamahal sa Diyos. Bakit? Kasi yung Diyos na ipinakilala mo, nakakatakot. Kamukamo. <laughs> diba? Right? Ipakilala natin yung Kristong mapagmahal. Yung Kristong nakakaunawa. ba? Diba? At nag, kumbaga nag-aaruga. Amen? Matagal na nawala, tapos pagbalik, ay, ba't ngayon ka lang? Nag-backslide ka na, ano? Hindi <laughs> mo alam na ma- namatayan pala o nagkasakit. Pwede ba kumustahin mo muna? Huh? Come on. These are the churches today, right? Kaya sabi, ayaw kong mag-church. Bakit? Ang daming bawal. Anong pangalan ng church nyo? Bawal church. <laughs> However, hindi naman ibig sabihin na we're gonna be loose. Right? But we are in the process. Who is not? You, I, Regardless, everybody have or has your own share of sadness, your own share of loneliness, your own share of folly and flaws and failure. Panapanahon lang yan. Baka ako ngayon, bukas ikaw naman. Kaya wag na wag niyo sabihin, ay nako, sister, kulang ka sa faith. Please, yan ang ayaw na ayaw kong marinig sa inyo. Because you don't even know what you're talking about. We do not develop our faith because God gives to us the measure of faith. Right? Si Lord ang nagbibigay ng faith, hindi tayo. Amen? Now, anyway, the moment you recover your passion, tingnan mo kayo katabi mo. Di ba kanilang tangan namin may pangarap ka ba? Ngayon naman tabi mo sa katabi mo is, mukha ba akong inspired o expired? Di ba ang daming Christian ngayon mukhang expired? Di ba? Hindi man ako nangungot siya ah, hindi niyo magdamit. Parang nasa baul. Ano ba? Anong ibig sabihin? Kasi, kasi dapat, dapat ang haba ng damit, mahaba ang buho. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Kung carry mo lang, okay lang. Pero never make wardrobe salvific. Ano ibig sabihin nun? It has nothing to do with your salvation. God does not look at the appearance of a man, but God looks at the heart. And bago ka mangot siya, dapat alamin mo na baka yung kapatid mo may pinagdadaanan. Maaring yung pinagdadaanan niyo, okay, sige, let's give it. Madali sa'yo, pero sa kanya nag struggle siya. Sa'yo kaya mong matulog na may kaaway ka. Siya hindi. Di ba? Sabi mo sa adik, alam mo, trust the Lord, you know, He will take away your addiction. I mean, maybe. But not everyone has that particular depth of faith. Kaya ano sabi si Jeremiah, call unto me. Yun ang sabi ng Lord. Call on to me and what? I will answer. Amen? You and tell you. 
So tinan nyo, di ba tumawag ka lang, binigyan ka ng great? Si Lord, pag magbigay, hindi nagbibigay ng pitchy-pitchy si Lord. Right? He's gonna make sure you have the best. Come on. Right? Tama? Pag mahal nyo, alam nyo, di ba nakita nyo ito minsan, pag magsishopping ka, no? shopping ka, lalo na pag yung mga, uh, magbibili ka ng pasalubong. Are with me? Alam nyo ba na ang degree ng pasalubong nakaangkla sa relation? Di ba? Kaya pag mamimili ka ng pasalubong, di ba may pang generic at pang may special. Di ba? Pag hindi kayo masyadong close, tsokolate lang yan. Tsokolate, tsokolate. Bili ka ng tsokolate. Actually, di mo naman binili sa US, bigli mo lang sa SM. Ha? Pareho lang eh. Wala naman naka, pagkakaiba yung Hershey's sa US saka sa SM. Di ba? Alam ba nung binagbigyan mo? Pero hindi namin ginawa yun na. Hello ah. <laughs> di ba? Ngayon sabihin mo, grabe naman, tsokolate yan. O yan, pasalamat ka, at least ibig sabihin, nasa listahan ka ng mahalaga. <laughs> Kasi naalala ka. Right? Now, hindi, ko, hindi ko nila lahat, ha? Kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng degree. Pero tinan mo, pag malapit sa'yo, tita kita, pag anak mo na, hindi, 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 mo, hindi tsokolate yung iniisip mo. Iniisip mo, bag. Iniisip mo, sapatos. Magpapasukan na. Iniisip mo. Ganito, ano? Right? Bakit? Kasi may level, eh. Pero dahil tayo, anak tayo ng Diyos, pag inisip tayo ni Lord, the best ang iniisip niya. Tama? Come on? Iniisip ni Lord, the best. He wants to give you the best. Right? Kaya nga kung titignan natin, dapat ang prayer natin, Lord, order my steps. Now, this is a prayer very much in keeping with the scripture. Anong sabi sa scripture? The steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Right? So magandang sabihin, Lord, order my every step. Tama? Tama? And guide me in my every battle. Why? Even though I walk to the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil because your staff and your rod, they comfort me. Diba? Tama? Amen po ba? So, call on to the Lord. May mawawala ba sa'yo? Pag magpray ka? Wala. Makikita mo, as you begin to pray, you know, the Holy Spirit begins to move in your life, provided you are praying with all your heart. Amen? And then a renewed passion will come. Excited ka ulit. Sino sa atin excited ulit? Tama? Di ba? Kaya mamaya excited tayo lahat, di ba? Kasi magbubuhat tayo, alright? Di ba? Tama? Excited Ay, pag hindi kayo sumama mamaya, grabe. Hindi ko naman sinasabing kukunin na kayo ni Lord. Pero, ibig sabihin, may mimiss niyo ang opportunity of serving God. Right? Now, as we continue, another thing that we need to remember, sabi niyo, is renewed motivation. I love this. Actually, kanina, you know, that was caught kasi nire-review ko yung notes ko, tinitingnan ko kung tama yung aking, yung aking ano, no? So, there was this, this guy, uh, sometime, ago in the mid-50s, end of 1950s, whose wife died in India, right? in the region of Gerar. And then this guy lost her wife because, you know, the opposite side of the village that they're staying in is the infirmary, but it, you have, we will have to traverse the mountain. Right? Tamaba, you have to traverse the mountain. And this uh, particular guy lost the wife as a result. And he pledged, na sabi niya na this mountain, pinahirapan niya ang marami, I will carve this mountain and make a road. And for 22 years, he carved the mountain with planes, chisels, and mallet. Can you imagine? Walang payloader, walang backhoe. Diba? Talagang maso lang, tapos sinsin. Pare, he literally moved the mountain. For 22 years. He was called the mountain man. Right? You can just imagine how motivation can drive a person to accomplish great feats simply because they are greatly motivated. Tama po ba yan? Greatly motivated. Alam nyo bang, mga kapatid, na the greatest motivator of all time is the Holy Spirit? And when the Holy Spirit motivates you, even 
even sometimes when it feels painful to give, you give. You know why? Because you're greatly motivated. I want to see this generation. Because you have to understand the moment you're giving to this church, the moment you're joining this church, you're not just investing on your life. You're investing on the lives of others, in particular, the next generation. Diba? And I'd like to encourage you, no? When we transfer to the new place next week, right? Fire yourself up with a new motivation. A renewed motivation. Faith-driven followers, okay? Know that inspiration and confidence is infused and stirred by the Spirit's prompting. Hindi si Pastor Sol, ha? hindi yung leader. but ka nag-attend kasi sabi ni Tita Norma? Ba't ka nag-attend kasi sabi ni Pastor Ates or ni Tita Aida? Di ba? Kasi sabi ng youth leader namin eh, kaya ako pupunta. Then mali ka na. Nag-uumpisa ka pa lang, pasok ka na. Right? Right? You, you have forfeited your, your reward. Bakit? You are motivated wrong. You know, doing things in ministry, coming to church, even just staying there, listening, your motivation is, I want to love the Lord more. I'm in church because I love Jesus. Hindi because baka may juwa akong makita sa church. Come on. You know, as early as, as now, when we were having this conversation with the family. You know, we have this rule of thumb as the, at the moment. Uh, diploma muna bago jowa. No? Parang ano, no? Sabi namin, it's not bad to have a relationship, but put it in the right place. And if ever you're going to have one, make sure that they are a Christian. And being a Christian is no guarantee that they are the right person. Because, because ngayon, ang dami rin Christian na like to church kasi for the wrong reasons. Right? Tama? Hindi dapat dahil Christian pagkatiwalaan. In fact, pag Christian, lalo mong banda yan. Anong ginagawa nyo dyan? Nagpi-prayer meeting po kami. Saan? Doon po sa kwarto. Paano prayer meeting nyo? Kasi po para feel namin, magkahawak kami ng kamay. Papikit-pikit. Come on. You're not born yesterday, right? Diba? Sige, turn to the neighbor beside you. And this is a very true axiom. You know, you've heard from Pastor Saul many, many times. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, pag walang nagbabantay sa'yo, alam niya yung katuloy, di ba? Ano? Wawala. Nagwawala ka. O, di ba? Bait mo pag may nagtatingin sa'yo, pag wala na. Okay? Tama? Now, let's talk about this, your testimony. Being a dynamic influencer. People that are highly motivated, motivates. Well, think ko ah, people that are highly motivated, motivates. Nakakahawa sila in the right way. Right? Kung titignan natin the stirring of a dynamic culture shift, if you want to impact our community, our schools, our families, regardless of what environment you are in, you want to impact it for the right reasons, sabi nito, the stirring of a dynamic culture shift is... Influenced by what? By vibrant exemplars. Medyo parang masyadong English, no? Ibig sabihin, by your examples, by role models. In short, wag mong sabihin, gawin mo, ipakita mo. Amen, church? You are an exemplar. Now, look at me. When I said, let's reach out to our community, where do you see your pastor? Some of you, I even hardly see. Where am I? I'm in City Hall. I'm in a boardroom. I am elsewhere. Right? Because that's where the real mission field is. We want to impact change. At hindi mo lang yun sinasabi, ginagawa mo. Amen? So makikita natin, it is beneficial change. Ulitin ko, beneficial change. Ibig sabihin, na papakinabang. Hindi ka lang gumawa ng program, nagtalon-talon kayo, yun na yun. Revival. Hindi yun revival. Ang roong totoong revival, pag ang kultura ng isang tao, ng isang komunidad, ng isang pamilya, na pipihit tungo sa kabutihan. Di ba? Hindi yung nakita kong editorial, talagang hindi ko makalimutan yun. Parang, parang tumatak na sa utak ko, tatood in my mind. Nakita ko yung editorial cartoon, sabi doon, matatabang buhaya na maliliit, sabi doon, no, ang cute nila kasi SK pa lang. 
Alam niyo, no, no offense intended. Ganun ba ang tingin natin sa mga kabataan? ba? Diba? Dapat ang nakikita natin, grabe, pata pa lang, liun na ang paninindigan. O, oh, ba? Diba? Mag-crime, ha? ba? Diba? Bakit? Tapalaban talaga. Hindi yung, yung ginulat lang, liun nga, miaw. Natakot na. ba? Diba? Mga kapatid, no? lalo na mga young people, taasan naman yung pangarap nyo. Huwag lang kayong pumasa. Pastor, pag mo naman ako, anong pag natin? Pumasa ako sa exam. Ang simple naman ang prayer mo. Pastor, pag natin, sana mula dun sa honor, maging high honor. Ganun ang mga pangarap. ba? Diba? Hindi ba, Pastor, yung gawain ko, chinek na ni Sir? Hindi. Dapat, Pastor, yung ginawa namin, nanalo sa exam. No? Nanalo sa fair. Pupunta kami ng Maynila, magpipre. Yun ang usapan. Di ba? Ha? Young people, di ba? Hindi yung, ay, thank you po, pumasa kami. <laughs> eh, ano kayo? Kung pumasa ka, ang daming pumapasa hanggang ngayon, walang trabaho. Diba? Come on, guys. Taasan ninyo, I will be an influencer. Diba? Buti pa yung vlogger, influencer eh. Ikaw wala eh. Sir lang, sir. Look at this. We, we need to understand that we need a culture shift. Kahit sa church, Diba? Hindi yung papetik-petik ka lang sa church, papa-attend-attend ka lang. Tapos kala mo, faithful ka ng Christian. Guys, no. You have to elevate yourself. You are, you are witnesses. The Lord says, go and make disciples, you know, hindi members. Diba? An- Paano umasta yung member? Pa-attend-attend. Alam niyo, parang convention, no? Convention, a-attend ko niya, sa Cebu, ano, pa-attend-attend. Tapos actually, nasa isip, listahan ng Lichon, listahan. Yung pasalubong ang iniisip, no? ba? Diba? Kaya initanong kailan matatapos sa konbensyon. Kasi ang iniisip kagad, pasyal. Right? Come on. Tama? Ganon din kayo mga church people. Hindi kayo pa-attend-attend lang. Pag ikaw pa-attend-attend ka lang, walang mangyayari sa buhay mo. Tama? Pwede ba sabihin sa katabi mo? hindi tayo pa attend attend sis seryosohan to tama kasi kung hindi kayo magseseryoso the door is closed nobody can get out so yung sabi the door is open you may go hindi you stay i'll beat the crap out of you until you say jesus is lord pastor pinilit mo naman hindi pambuti na maghiwalay tayo alam ko ligtas ka kasi maghiwalay tayo impierno labas mo a lot of you may not agree, but there is no more time, church. Wala nang panahon para to dilly-dally. Right? Tama? So people that are highly motivated, di ba? Burning with desire with the Holy Spirit. Kaya next week, di ba? Hindi lang kayo darating. Dadala kayo ng kaibigan nyo. Di ba? Huwag lang kayong mag-enjoy ng message. Share it, right? Because there is a community to be one. So, ano yung nauna kanina? What's the first point? Ano sabi natin kanina? Ha? It's a recovered passion. Okay, the passion, you do not make it by yourself. It's the Holy Spirit. And then we know that when the Spirit is working, there will be renewed motivation. People that are highly motivated are committed. Ulitin ko, people that are highly motivated are committed, which leads us you know, to this particular truth. Understand that change wires engage their communities to maximize their impact and Influence. In short, hindi lang sila nasa church. They talagang they are impacting their communities. Right? Now, in the last couple of weeks, di ba, kinento ko na yun, the mayor's saying na, Dr. Sol, meet me in this uh, place kasi nag- nagsiset ako ng appointment sa kanya kasi ini-invite natin si mayor para doon sa next gen, di ba? 
to give a short inspiration. And he just loves the young people. I mean, we're, we're blessed to have a mayor who are, who's really big on young people, you know, and their development. So, so, hindi kami nagtagpo, no? Tapos tawag pala silang tawag, eh, dahil hinihintay ko yung tawag na sa akahintay ko, akala ko hindi siya tatawag. I went out and then made my usual jog. And when I came back, I had a lot of missed calls from him. And then when I opened my text, sabi niya, meet me in Sunshine Park because I will be going there for the cleanup drive. So I called up and said, hey, no, sabi ko sa kanya, I'm gonna go there. Are you still there? Sabi niya, uh, uh, I'll, I'll just call later. So naghintay ako ng gabi. Hindi pa rin tumawag hanggang nag... I could realize, madami na naman siyang miss call. Long story short, he said, meet me tomorrow on a breakfast meeting. Hindi ako kasama sa breakfast niyo. Pero sabi niya, you come to that breakfast meeting, I want to meet you. So I went to the city hall. We had breakfast, so I was seated just beside him. Talagang sinigurado niya mag-uusap kami kasi yung upuan beside him, ni-reserve niya. So we were talking. And all of a sudden, sabi niya, Kumusta, Doc Sol? By the way, natuloy na ba yung, detail, yung training natin for the City Hall employees? Sabi niya, dapat ba tuloy na yun? And then sabi niya, by the way, sabi niya, the planning de- department or the city planning has a plan for, for youth training. And sabi niya, uh, yeah, yeah, sa, sa, sandali lang. Sabi niya, so, akala ko meron siya gagawin. So, he, he went and took his phone and called up. And he called up architect Donna and said, Donna, yeah, uh, nag-usap na ba kayo ni Dr. Sol? Sabi niya, Mayor, tungkol saan? You know, uh, they have a very good program for the youth. Why don't you call him up? The next thing I know, I'm having a meeting with the city planning. Okay? Ama? Head, si architect Donna. No? So I was there. I was talking about what should be done or what could be done. And I was laying out the groundwork. And I realized when God's wisdom comes, the city architect was saying, Wow, that is a great thing, Pastor. Let's do it. Kaya ngayon, we are in the process of doing a research to create a training, okay, for SKs, for schools, no, for uh, city hall employees, and we're gonna begin it in the next month. Right? Why? Because there is influence. Right? And where does your influence come? From the Lord. Amen ba? So, tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Mukha ba akong may influence? Come on. May impact ba? May impact? So, impact to. Di ba? Uh-huh. Lastly, restored position. What happens when you get disqualified? What happens when you get a setback? Di ba? Minsan nawawalan ka na ng gana parang... Makakabalik pa kaya ako. Guys, look at me. No one is beyond grace. No matter how far you've gone, no matter how deep you have fallen, the Lord can reach you out. Diba? All you have to do is come back. Right? Kung titignan natin, the pursuit of a designated inheritance require what? Okay? Decisive attention and action. Everybody say attention and action. Okay, ibig sabihin, makinig ka at sumunod ka. Everybody say that again. Makinig ka at sumunod ka. Ano yung panawagan sa'yo ng Panginoon? Ano yung calling ni Lord sa'yo? Makinig ka, sumunod ka. Right? Why? Because your delay and ignorance, now ignorance, please let's not confuse ignorance with innocence, Okay? Ang ibig sabihin ng innocence or naivety, you're simply unaware. Right? Innocent ka dun sa bagay na yun. Right? Tama? Parang sa kaso, you're presumed innocent until proven guilty. Parang galon, no? Tama ba? Tama? Ibig sabihin, innocent ka. Wala kang kinalalaman, hindi mo alam. Iba yon. Yung ignorance, alam mo. Pero hindi mo ginagawa. Come on. Sino sa atin biktima ng mga ganun? Or offender, I should say. Hindi biktima. Offender ng ganun. Alam mo, pero ginawa mo pa rin. Diba? Alam mo, masasaktan ka. Ginawa mo pa rin. Diba? Tama? Alam mo, mawawala mo. Ginawa mo pa rin. Anong tawag doon? Ignorance. Right? Alam mo, ito yung nais sa'yo ng Lord. Ginawa mo pa rin. So, sa bandang huli, makikita natin dito, you know, we have to create this heart that is together as one. It's, it's united, right? Sabi niya, the power of one 
is sabi niya actually the hallmark of real achievers. Okay? Because no one travels alone. Right? Choosing to work as one. Take note, as one, pronounce it properly, hindi as one. Okay? As one. Tama? Kasi nagsosolo, nangaaswang yung madras eh. Di ba? But those are moving as one, ibig sabihin, iisa ang isipan, iisa ang galaw. Tama? Tama? Iisa ang isipan, iisa ang galaw. This spells the difference between, ano yun? Success and defeat. Teams that are moving as one often win. Okay? But, you know, even... In classic history, you know, particularly that of the Americas, diba? Sabi dun, a house divided by itself, it falls. Right? Come on. So at the end of the day, when we say restored position, ibig sabihin, sinong gustong, remember? Uh, at one point in time, you were praying. Sabi dun sa encouragement is, hey, pursue and you will want. How many wants to recover? How many wants to see God moving again in our church in a powerful way? Yes. Amen. It's not because we have lost the anointing, no. Because understand this, the Lord never anoints. Hindi niya binabawi yung ibinigay niya. Kaya lang ang nangyayari, bakit hindi natin nakikita? Kasi ikinukubli natin. Tama? Sino dito nakalimutan niyo kung anong oras na kasi iniwan niyo yung rilo niyo? Parang ganun, no? Tama? Come on, church. Look at this. The power of what? Mutual cooperation. Ano? Expedites change and success. It's the sabi niya, fuel of conquerors. Yeah. Alam na alam niya ng mga conqueror, ng mga achievers. Right? They stir the people towards one direction, one vision, and that's exactly what I wanted to do today, my friends in the Lord. I want you not only to look at a place that we're about to move into. I want you to look into further things as to, Lord, this is an avenue, an opportunity for new beginnings. Right? Kung sa nakaraan, di ba, bano ako, Lord, ngayon talagang siseryosohin ko na. Gagawa ako ng Ah, babaguhin ko disiplina ko. Di ba? Tama? Alam nyo ba na sa isang taong talagang um, nagmamahal sa Panginoon, hindi dahilan yung malayo o malapit. Sorry, ako nakakatin, layo kasi. Di ba? Kasi ang iniisip mo, ikaw. Pero pag ang iniisip mo ang Panginoon, malayo man o hindi, pupuntahan ko yun. Kasi doon kakatagpuin ko si Lord. Hindi naman, hindi naman yung pastor ang kinakatagpo ko doon eh. Yung Lord. Yes. Ng buhay ko. Amen ba? So kung titingnan po natin dito, one's in action could mean the full feature of a reserved promise and victory. Diba? Andun na eh yung pangako sa'yo. Andun na yung victory mo eh. Absent ka lang. Tarang si Kuya Daniel ba yun? Congratulations. Nakatanggap siya ng kanyang Award no for service in City Hall and uh, kinukuwento nila ang ganda kasi yung award nila ang dami pala nila no tapos nagrereklamo daw yung isang kasama niya sabi niya tagal naman natin sabi ni Kuya Daniel oh di sige mauna ka kaya lang yung mga nauuna yung posthumous award ibig e, sabihin yung mga pumusay na <laughs> di ba parang ganoon di ba sino sa atin dito gusto magka-award posthumously ayaw di ba lord habang nasa lupa dito yung award Iba, iba rin yung award sa langit, Lord. Yung iba sa atin, ganito mindset, di sa langit na ang pahinga. Oh, good job. Sige. Hindi, ako dito magpapahinga ako. Dito mag enjoy ako. Dito makakakita ako ng victory. Hindi sa langit lang. Dito rin. Bakit? Ano bang pagkakaiba ng langit? Oh, malaki pastor. Hindi, pareho din. Bakit? Sa langit, andun si Lord. Dito, andito din naman si Lord, ah. Depende nga lang kung sinong Lord mo. Drug Lord. <laughs> diba? So, if you coming to church is because of convenience, man, I think you have to reevaluate your motive. 
Right? Tama? Kasi ang pagpunta sa church, ang pagpuri sa Diyos, pinaghahandaan yan. Hindi lang yung pag-awit, ultimo pati pagbibigay. Di ba? Di ba? Tandaan nyo, ang binibigay natin sa church, okay, kaloob. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Galing sa loob, kaloob. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, iisan damdamin, kaloob eh. Yung iba sa ating kalabas. Di ba? Di ba? Kasi labas ng labas eh. Pag nasa labas, magaling, nagbibigay, naglilibre sa church. Hindi. Kaya hindi kaloob ang tawag doon, kalabas. Di ba? Pag friends, ano ako naglilibre yan. Sa church, hindi ah. Come on. Pero yung mga kaloob, ito yung mga handog natin sa pang... Everybody say, handog. Okay, ang binibigay natin sa church, handog, offering, hindi suffering. Okay, pwede ba? Bigyan nyo naman ng gaan ang loob kasi ang Diyos, bigyan nyo ng gaan ng loob ang Diyos. Bigyan nyo yung papel, wag yung bariya. Bigatin yun eh. Tama? Tama? Eh, hello? Hayaan nyo naman yung mga isang libo maka-experience ng church. Kasi minsan na to, offering na rin to, ha? Ka- Di ba? Tama? Are, are you following me, church? Amen. Ang ibinibigay natin kaloob, handog sa ating Panginoon. Pag handog, dapat maganda. Pag kaloob, dapat talagang gagaan ang loob mo. Di ba? Kasi pag sinabi ko kay Ruth, Ruth, anong gusto mong regalo? Oh, pag sinabi ni Ruth, Pastor, gusto ko ng bagong oven. Uy, alam mo yun din ang iniisip ko. Uy, kaloob! Pareho tayo ng iniisip. Pareho tayo ng hangarin. Di ba? Parang ganun, uh, bro, sabi ko kay JR kanina, anong size na ulit yung sapatos mo? Ha? Sabi ko kay JR, sabi ko, size 9. O sabi ko, sige, bili kita medyas. At least size 9. Di ba? Nung gusto mong medyas, yung sakong nasa harap. You know what I mean? At least mas maganda yung medyas, may susuot mo pa rin. Eh, kung sabi ko siya, nail cutter. Di ba? Are, are you following? Ibig sabihin, pag ako maghahandog, maghahandog ako yung nararapat. Kaya nga kaloob, kaya nga handog. Pero madalas, ang nagpupunta sa church, ang ibinibigay, abuloy. Parang namatayan. Diba? Kaya nga alam sa church natin, we don't pass the offering box. Kasi hindi humihingi ng abuloy si Lord. Kung gusto niyo maghandog, halik kayo sa harap, ihandog niyo. No? Bakit kayo pag magbibigay, nilulukot niyo pa? Lalo na pag 20, lukot na lukot talaga. Pag isang libo, may medyo... Tapos nakita, ay, sukli ko. Pasensya <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> na kayo, I've been in church for so many, three decades, so I know all the style of people who are giving. Right? Amen? Yung iba pupunta sa harap pag wala nakatingin. Wala naman palang ibinigay. <laughs> no? Pumunta sa harap, ginalo, no? Yung pala pre-request. No, no. Pastor, ba tayo napunta niya? Restored position eh. Alam niyo yung restored position? Paano magbigay yung mga may ibibigay? ba? Pag ang isip mo mahirap, mahirap pa magbigay. Pag ang hirap, isip mo mayaman, mayaman kang magbigay. No? ba? Parang kahapon, nagbigay ako. Sabi ko, sa misis ko, pahingin nga ng ano, si Kwenta. Sabi niya, wala na akong bariya. O oh, sabi ko, akin ay 50 mo, ito sandaan, no? May sukli ka pa, di ba? Anong gusto mo, yung isandaan bigay ko sa waiter o yung 50? Siyempre, nag-isip siya, di ba? Nung bigay na namin, sabi ko sa waiter, kunin mo na to. Kasi bakit ko sinabi siya, kunin mo to? Kasi pag hindi niya kinuha, kukunin ng mga anak ko. <laughs> Tapos, biglang nasabi ni Aliyah, nawala na. <laughs> you know? Why do I do that? May nasasabihin sa akin, ba't ka pa nagbibigay ng tip? Eh, may service charge na. Yung service charge, bayad mo sa naglingkod. Yung tip, bigay mo sa naglingkod. I am giving not because they need it. 
I'm giving because I'm generous. It's always a condition of the heart. Di ba? Misa nag-traffic yung security guard dun sa kuyisan, yung gano'n, sa dedication ni Mimoy. Pag alis namin, binigyan ko din. Bakit? Kasi magkano nang kinikita ng mga yun? Di ba? Ma- ma- alam nyo yun, yung random act of kindness, mapangiti mo lang sila. Kaya minsan tanong sa akin nung isang disciple ko, Pastor, sabi niya, bakit? Kahit saan tayo magpunta, may kilala ka. Yung janitor, yung security guard, kilala ka. Malayo pa, pinipindot na elevator para sumakay ka. Diba? Nakita kami ni Bukat doon sa Eco Building, diba? Napabili ako sa McDonald's, right? Binigyan ko pa rin. Wala naman akong parking. Sabi niya, Pastor, ibang iba talaga gateway. Pumunta kayo doon, pag tinanong, kumusta? Pag, pag kumusta yung mga nagpuntang churches dyan? Sabi niya, Pastor, iba pa rin ang gateway. <laughs> diba? Sabi sa akin minsan nung may-ari nung Eco Building, si Anthony, sabi niya, Pastor, grabe, pag ikaw ang dumarating, nagtatraffic yung guard. <laughs> diba? Tama? In the power of five. Diba? Come on, guys. Hindi, hindi dahil nagpapasikat ka. You're just giving value on people. You're giving value on people. You're appreciating them for what they're doing. Di ba? And that is reflective of Christ. Magpasaya ka lang ng konti. Magpangiti ka man lang ng konti. Baka may pinagdadaanan yung tao kahit papano na pangiti mo. Amen. Yung konting kasiyahan na ibinigay mo, pagpapala yon at walang pagpapalang itinatanim na hindi bumabalik. Because ngayon, ang isip mo kasi, kingdom mindset ka na eh, hindi earthly mindset ka. Anong sabi sa Bible? It's better to give than to receive. So sabi natin kanina, forget the things, no? sabi niya, right? Do not Diba? Sabi ni Joshua, right? Do not remember the things of all. Here is Paul now. Sabi niya, brothers and sisters, I consider that I have not made it my own. But one thing I do, ano na naman? Forgetting what lies behind. Right? See? Pareho ng challenge. Pagdating sa conquest, pagdating sa moving forward, forget the past. Naintindihan ko kapatid, mapait. Naintindihan ko masakit. Hanggang ngayon, pag naalala mo, nagdudurog ang puso mo, naintindihan ko. Pero ang sabi ng Lord, forget the past. Be excited of what is ahead. Amen? And strain forward to what lies ahead I press on towards the goal. Ano yung goal? For the price of the upward call. You see, yun ang goal. The call of God in my life. The call of God in my life. Balikan natin, church. Bakit tayo lilipat? Hindi mahalaga kung saan na tayo nagpunta, saan tayo nakarating. Ang mahalaga, Lord, tinawag mo kami. And where you lead, we will follow. So as we end, Yeah, I understand one thing. That the calling to serve God is not actually an option. Because it is the only best thing you can ever do. So I promise to claim as we end. Sabi niya, take heart and heed the call. Pakinggan natin ang panawagan ng Panginoon. Do not secretly or no? Ano yan? Abandon the vision God has planted in your heart. Baka nandiyan ka pa rin, nag-church ka pa rin, patugtugtugtug ka, pang-awit-awit ka, di ba? Papunta-punta ka. Pero yung puso mo, wala na. Amen? Okay? Sabi niya, you're God's man. Right? Because at the end of the day, as I end, it's a season of resurgence. There is a call to rise up. It's time to be born. Not reborn as ipanganak ka ulit to be born again. Kung tinanggap mo na si Lord, born again ka na, di ba? Right? Hindi yun ang ibig ko sabihin. Ibig sabihin, it's time to go back to your vision. It's time to go back to your calling. Why don't we all stand? Amen? 
And church, as we end, I'd like to encourage you and challenge you. God has a plan for you. Amen. My plan was si Lord para sa you. To our dear guests who came today, thank you for joining us. Your coming is not an accident. Because God wants to remind you that He has a plan for you as well. Whether bago ka sa lugar na ito o hindi, kabilang ka sa plan ng Diyos. Let us pray. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat sa ginawa mo sa amin. It is our prayer that you would allow your Holy Spirit to work in a mighty way. Naway pangunahan mo kami. At sa aming pananalangin, hayaan mo pong ang puso namin maging kaisa ng puso. Kumilos ka sa amin ka lang. Before I finally close in a word of prayer and dismiss us and give our offering at the same time, why don't you turn to somebody today and I just want you to pray for them. Kung hindi nyo sila kilala, magpakilala ka. You know, especially you church people, go to somebody that, you know, that, that are not familiar with you or guests that we have and, you know, just welcome them and pray for them. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Panginoon, sa umagang ito. Sa pagkaataong napakinggan at nakaulayaw namin ng iyong banal na spirito. Patuloy ka pong kumilo sa aming kalagita. Salamat at meron kami pagkakataon na magpanalanginan, pinupuri at pinapasalamatan ka namin sa pagkakataon ito. Sa pangalan ni Jesus at lang lahat ay magsabi na Amen. And Amen. After you have prayed, you can be seated. And we're gonna have GR to render us a response song. And then, at the same time, As the song is being sang, we can come and give our offering. Amen? So, let's listen to the song. Reflect on it. At sabayan natin ang ating pagbibigay. And then after the song, we'll close in a word of prayer. You may be seated where you are. And let's be blessed by this song. Or
just the mind It's deep inside his armor The warrior is a Because this armor is the best But even soldiers needs a quiet place to rest People say, yes, I'm amazing I never face retreats But they don't see the enemies That laid me at his feet they don't know that I come running home when I fall down. They don't know who picks me up when no one is around. I drop my sword and cry for just who It's deep inside this armor. The warrior is a child They don't know that I come running home when I fall down They don't know who picks me up when no one is around Deep inside this armor, oh, deep inside this armor, deep inside this armor, the warriors shall Why don't we all stand together? Thank you, JR, for that beautiful song. If you were listening to the message of a song, it talks about the daily battles that we go through. But, you know, sometimes it can be dragging, taxing, you know, and we go through sufferings and struggles. But the thing is, God is victorious, amen? Let's lift our hands to the Lord. Let's close in the word of prayer. Father, thank you for the victory and the assurance that you have given us. The Lord, in spite of the many battles that we go through in life, nobody really outgrows being a child before you. So today we just go home to your presence. Lord, laying down our armors, our sword. Some of us have gone through a toxic battle or life. But Lord, in your presence, we can rest. For you are Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. Lord, I just pray that you would comfort us for those of us that are going through sicknesses or struggles or relationship challenges. Some of us are going through, Lord, pockets of depression or discouragement. No matter what we're going through right now, even to those of us that are listening or watching online, may you reach out to them. May you reach out to us and allow us, Lord, that, Lord, you are bidding us to come to you. All of us who are heavily laden and burdened, we can come to you because your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Thank you, Lord God, for your blessing. Allow us to go home today with your blessing going before us. May the love of God, our Father, the ever-increasing grace of Jesus' His Son, and the constant communion of the Holy Spirit 
be with you always. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. And continue to pray for our ministry, give to our ministry. We'll see you again only here in Gateway, where we reach people and transform lives. Happy Sunday, everyone. God bless you. Shalom.